Chris and Mary, police confirmed the child was with the father last night in Valley Stream, and the parents were locked in a custody dispute. Now, it's not clear why they ended up here in Springfield Gardens, but when firefighters arrived on scene, the car was up in flames, and witnesses were left shaken. Horrible. I didn't even sleep last night because I was just thinking about that little baby. It was horrible. Neighbors at a loss watching this car go up in flames, not knowing a three year old little girl was trapped inside. Now, the charred sedan sits in the middle of the street, surrounded by police tape and investigators trying to get to the bottom of what happened here, but deeming it a homicide. I don't know what kind of person would have done something like that to a baby. Police were called to the scene at the intersection of Baisley Boulevard and 154th Street just before 9 p.m. to the car on fire. FDNY firefighters extinguished the flames and then discovered an unconscious three-year-old child in the rear seat. They took the baby out. The baby was badly burned and the baby went to the police car. I feel sad because I have children of my own. The little girl, Zoe Pereira, died at Jamaica Hospital. Witnesses say her 39-year-old father, the driver, was trying to open the back door of the car. He just pulled on the door and the door wasn't open. Like it was locked, like shut. He was on fire, like literally on fire. He apparently ran into a nearby pond and was found by officers with non life threatening burns. A neighbor says police were at his Valley Stream home Sunday. I came home last night and seen an ambulance by itself, and then came about five police cars. She's a baby. It's a baby. She's three years old. Some mother is out there bawling their eyes out right now because their three-year-old is gone. Back at the scene where investigators say a propane tank and two fuel canisters were found nearby, leaving many open questions. I'm curious to see why the guest tank was there with the child in the car. It's unfortunate that child died. It's unfortunate. It makes me very sad. Police say the father has been arrested but not yet charged. We learned the couple was in a relationship for five years and recently broke off an engagement and that they have a domestic incident report history with police. Again, the NYPD is investigating this as a homicide. We're live in Queens. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thank you. New